Hello everyone, this is George Castro, and this video is going to be about how I use the dash, which is this uh, black window here that displays when I either hit the Ubuntu button, the home button up here, or I just hit the super key, which is your Windows key. The workflow is very much text completion based, so the way I use this in advanced usage is uh, I just hit the key and then I just start typing what I want, and it matches. Then I hit the down arrow, see how it highlights the text editor and then I just hit enter. I specifically was searching for gedit at that time, but there's no reason I can't just search for editor and it, or just edit, in fact, and it will show you show me all the things on my desktop here um, that I have. I can navigate these with the mouse or I can just use keyboard shortcuts here. Um, and of course, it shows me the best hits, but then uh, the other ones actually do show up here. Uh, another thing advanced users will like is our Alt F2 keeps your history that you've had in the past this is an improvement over um, what we had in uh, Ubuntu 10.10, which was just a normal panel. Now we keep a little bit of your history here. And as you can see, if you have CCSM installed, which is the config tool for uh, Compiz, which also will do your configuration for Unity, um, doing an about config will launch that tool. Uh, this should be familiar, that shortcut should be familiar to anyone who's uh, uh, messed around with uh, configuring Firefox. So you do have to install this tool separately. So uh, another nice thing about the Dash is it integrates these things called places. We, um, we have two places that we ship by default, which is the first one is applications. Um, the second one is files and folders, which actually has the files and folders that you use. For applications, you can right click and kind of drill down to if you're only interested in graphical applications. And then of course, you can just take something that you want and just drag it right onto your launcher. Uh, and then you have it there. This is my photo editor. Um, so usually, uh, you know, depending on what uh, applications you prefer to use, you can just right click on this, um, go to the ones that you want, and then just add them to your launcher to set it up exactly how you, you would like. And also for each category, we show you apps that are available to download in the software center. So let's say I wanted to do Epiphany here. Um, this will take me to the Epiphany page if I want to do it. Then if I click install, it has a really nice feature here that lets me just add it to the launcher right away. So I can click add to launcher and it will install it right onto my launcher, which is a handy feature. Um, I'll go ahead and minimize that. The, the applications and files um, lenses do have keyboard shortcuts. So you can hit the super key and hit A and then go directly to the applications. But after a while, I find, you know, in advanced usage, I usually know exactly what I'm looking uh, for, so I don't need to explicitly just uh, start looking for applications. I can just go Super Banshee. Notice as I type it, like, uh, uh, changes the results based on what I'm typing. So, um, as you can see here, now that this is done, Epiphany's uh, on my launcher, and I can just click and hold, drag it around. I'm using that about config tool. You can customize the launcher to however you need. Your files and folders are pretty handy as well. And this kind of gives you categories here based on what you uh what data you have um in your home directory. This is all powered by Zeitgeist, which is a handy tool for populating and looking at your data. And then last, this is a third party lens called the Ask Ubuntu lens. Now these lenses are views on your data. So we're hoping to see people write lenses for Amazon. Um Someone's working on a Google Google Books lens that just lets you start um, typing into the dash and start getting results from all sorts of uh, information uh, data sources rather. So for the Ask Ubuntu lens, you can see here Stefano, uh, who's written it, has uh, defined the U key so uh, as a shortcut. So I can just type super U, type how do I configure Unity, and it will go ahead and go to the actual website and search for all the possible uh, combinations uh, of what you've typed in there. And this gives me the answer that I have, which is like pretty handy. You know, I can also, so it's like a built-in help here. I can do super U Unity keyboard shortcuts. And there they are. So it's kind of like a built-in online help. So this is just one example with one website. You, as, as you can imagine, um, you know, if we had like an Amazon or a YouTube place which people are working on, you could just hit super and type, you know, this funny video. And it would go ahead and grab all that information from the web and present you with nice little thumbnail icons of everything. So, um, like I said, usually, you know, if you know what you're looking for just right away for advanced usage uh, every day, um, 
you know, when I'm multitasking and I need to launch something, I just hit the super key and I start typing. Um, and then you can also, uh, so let's say I wanted to do video, I would just do video editing. Here's this. But let's say, you know, I, I don't want to be so drilled in. Notice it has my data in here, too. You know, I can take the application itself and just drop it on there, and then I'm good to go. Of course, if I get sick of it, I can just trash it. I believe the English call it binning. Um, and as you can see, some of the applications are really starting to take advantage of the quick list here. Shutter is a really great tool for taking screenshots. adds uh, shortcuts here. Um, and another uh, application that we ship by default here, Firefox, also lets you know open a new window right right from here. So if you have Firefox already open, you can just do that. It's pretty handy. So anyway, that's how you use the dash. Um, I like to keep mine collapsed, you know, so it's out of the way. It kind of gives me that quick terminal kind of vibe. So hope you give it a shot. Thanks.